This question comes to us from Patrick Finnegan, and um, a lot of thought went into this. Um, and he asks, he's having trouble when it comes to turning the corner, a race car or a golf club, that's getting the club where it gets around the corner, where it gets out here, where it gets into the correct arc, where it can go, and throwing a ball, how do those two relate? Well, when I go to throw a ball, if I take the ball and I go back, right there, that's the turn the corner, right there. Because that, that's what gets the ball in the position where I can go ahead and throw forward. So that's the turning the corner. So you don't take a ball here and then just, it has to, it has this deal there, which is this here. I mean, it's the same thing to get the, this gets your hand and the ball in the right position to throw. This gets that same boom to get in a position to throw down here. So it's that motion line, they call it shallowing the club, which I don't necessarily like that word because people then start trying to just shallow the club rather than their arms actually doing it. So they're both the same motions. They just happen in a little bit different spot. One, you're holding the club. Now, when you have a baseball bat, you go, okay, you, there's the, there's the ch turn the corner right there. So when I have a baseball bat, here it comes. Whew, there's where I turn the corner and direct the momentum of the, the bat back out in front of me. Because if you drag the handle like this, all of a sudden you can't catch the bat up. Now, he also made a comment when he does that, and he's working on lower trajectory shots. He feels like he holds the face off. Well, it's, whether, I, whether I hit it here or here, it's just a feeling with this hand as to where the club finally releases, for lack of a better term, where your hand goes. So I, I can swing and it looks the same. And I make a swing and that would go one trajectory. Then I'd make one go much lower, but it's the same around the corner. It's the same around the corner it's just a little bit different angle in my wrist down here. It's not necessarily held off. So I wasn't really holding off. You know, I just, I'm throwing the momentum at a different spot, a little farther in front of the ball. But I'm not holding something off, because as soon as you talk about holding your wrist, what happens to most people is it creates tension. And then you just drag and hang on to it. And that's the thing that I got into. So mine is more about where am I directing the momentum? The farther forward I direct the momentum in front of the ball, the lower the ball goes because this angle stays in there longer because I have to throw the ball further out in front of where the ball actually is or throw the club head. So there's the turn the corner. So when I take a ball back here and I, my arm goes from here to here, that's the turn the corner that gets my arm in the arc to throw as opposed to when I'm down here and I go here and I do that and the club works this way that gets my arm in position here to throw. It's the same corner, it's just one corner's here and one corner's up here going this way. Hi, I'm Mike Malaska. If you've ever thought about playing this game or you're struggling with it, if you can throw a ball or if you can take a stick or a bat and hit a ball or hit a tree, you can also hit a golf ball because sports are all connected and movements fit together. Go to malaskagolf.com. Let's make this game really easy.